Hi everybody, this is Chris Wattner at V-Technologies. Today we're going to take a look at the Macola ES integration with Starship 12. And you have the ability to enter your sales orders on the Starship screen in the same fashion that you always have by either scanning them or entering them into the search bar here. Or you can click on the spyglass that will bring up a view of the table and you can pick your order with a number of sorts here. We'll go ahead and put in our first transaction. Starship's going to call out to the SQL data in Macola and bring up all of that information on the Starship screen. We have a snapshot here of some of the different data that you'll find along the top here in the various tabs. It'll tell you the order and the company that you're connected to. The transportation information will be pulled out of the ship via code from Macola, so you have the carrier and service level. We can also pull the billing preference and account number from the customer maintenance tables, and it's available at the transit time. You also have the sender information, so if you have different companies that you drop ship on behalf of, different entities within the same company, you can set those up and also assign the charges to different billing accounts as well. Recipient information will be pulled over. This is the ship to address that's used on the label and the manifest. And you'll notice next to that we have a green checkbox, which indicates that the address has been validated. As we pull the address in from the order, we'll check the city, state, and zip. Zip plus four can be added as a standardized uh, postal formatting preference. We can also pull over the street address and uh, suite or apartment number. And we'll check whether or not it's a commercial, residential, or rural area to apply any of the surcharges that are required. You also have the ability to bring over all of your item detail from Macola. So we can pack these items into containers here. You can also bring over multiple sales transactions. If you look at the shipping assistant here, I can click on the magic wand. That will bring up any related orders. So Starship will look into the Macola database to find any potential orders that can be consolidated and shipped together on the same shipment. Once I've packed up all my goods and I'm ready to process, I can come up here to the toolbar, click on Ship and Process. This will print out all my labels, move the transaction onto the manifest, and then we'll write back all that detail back into Macola. So we'll minimize the Starship screen here and take a look at our Macola order. And this all happens real time, so as you're processing shipments out in the warehouse, this will make the shipping information available for customer service purposes back in the Macola screens. You can set a preference on putting the detail into the order header or line item comments. And we'll update the notes with all of the order detail from the shipment. You can customize the note to have whatever level of detail you require. Also customize all the labels next to each string. This will tell you when it's going to get there, how many pieces went out, the weight, the value. And then also, if you take the time to pack your goods, the item information at the carton level. You can also put back the freight charges into Macola in two places. You can have them write back to the order freight conditionally using freight rules to either mark it up, discount it, to add some logic to the integration. You can also disable that conditionally. Or if you're using the manifest table, we can put them into the manifest here with the per package charges and the tracking information for each box. That's shipping integration with Macola ES.